welcome to the special assembly on the occasion of Earth Day. And the slogan reads that every day is Earth Day. It's not just 22nd of April. It has to be a conscious effort in taking care of our planet Earth. First and foremost thing is we should teach uh, a child to be a good human being. That is very important. We have to teach him how to be compassionate, how to care for each other, how to take care of uh, your classmates, share lunch with each other, how to walk, how to talk, how to sit and how to be good to not only to your parents but to your grandparents and once a person is a good human being and that uh, you know personality trait is developed definitely he will take care of anything and everything be it the surroundings he will not ignore the trash which is lying there in front and he will uh, not wait for the nanny or your mom to throw that trash it will be spontaneous and compulsive you know uh, urge to throw that uh, trash in the bin so it's like you know it is the personality development of a person so this is what uh, sir said and everybody was awestruck because this was something uh, very important which everybody ignored and they were talking about various uh, things. So um, just be um, good to each other, be good to your surroundings and take care of this beautiful planet Earth. So today's assembly is on Earth Day. And I'll hand over the mic to grade one students. Thank you. Inspector Principal Sir, Headmistress Ma'am, Saudi Managers, Coordinators, Teachers, and my dear friends, a very good morning to you all. I, Salma Ahmed, will be leading today's special assembly in honor of our day. Earth Day is an annual event held globally on 22nd April to promote environmental protection and climate action. Protecting the Earth should be our foremost duty. Earth Day theme for 2024 is Planet versus Plastic. Let us commence the day with a prayer. I would like like to invite Ali to recite the Kirat, followed by the translation by Amaradi. A'udhu billahi minash shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakun lahu kufwan ahad. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, God say he is God the one, God the absolute. He begins not, nor was he begotten, and there is nothing comparable to him. Thoughts of the power to enrichen minds. I would like to invite Ibtisam to share the thought of the day. Good morning, everyone. Today's thought of the day is for a better future. Say no to plastic. I repeat, for a better future. Say no to plastic. Thank you. Have a nice day. By Dion. Morning, dear all. Earth is celebrated every year on 22nd of April. Earth is unique as it is the only planet that is known to have life in the solar system. In recent times, people have been polluting the environment and misusing its resources. It is everyone's responsibility to protect Mother Nature. 
being small children, we too can help save the environment by switching off lights when not in use, saving water, not littering everywhere, using less plastic, and by reducing waste. Each of us can make a difference, so let's work hand in hand to protect the earth. Let's make it a better place for all living beings, not only for today, but for many more years to come. Thank you. Today we are celebrating Earth Day. On this Earth Day, let's plan to protect our planet Earth. By protecting our Mother Earth, we are taking care of ourselves and our future. We must save Earth because it is the only planet where life is possible. Thank you. Have a nice day. I would like to speak about Earth Day. We celebrate Earth Day every year on 22 April. I will tell you some easy stuff to see earth. Safe water, plant trees, no pollution. No pollution, no recycling. Thank you. Have a nice day. So the managers, headmistresses, teachers, and very dear students. Well, today is Earth Day, right? What is the meaning of Earth Day? Yeah. Yes. What is the meaning? Why do we celebrate Earth Day? Any one of you? Good. Well, the thing is that we celebrate Earth Day so that we should understand the importance of earth and the environment. We should not take it for granted, right? You, when, when we wake up in the morning, you know, we are able to see, we are able to walk, we are able to breathe, and at times we take all these things 
for granted that what is so great about it. But it is indeed great that in the morning when you wake up, you see your parents, right? You can move your hands, right? You can get up, you can walk. So for each of these things, you must thank your Lord, your Creator, that you know He has been very kind, that again He has given you another day, so that you can wake up, you can see your parents, you can talk to them, you can move your hands, you can walk, and you can drink, you can eat your food. So all these are blessings. No? So do not take them for granted. Just imagine, God forbids, if we wake up and if we are not able to talk, what will happen? If we are not able to see, what will happen? So for each and everything, we must thank our Lord, our God, every day, every time. Right? Like that, like that, there is air in the environment, oxygen, we breathe. Supposing there is no oxygen in the air, in the atmosphere, how will you breathe? You will not be able to breathe. Everybody would be coughing and working hard to grasp a breath. There will not be any oxygen. And where do we get our oxygen? When we keep our environment clean. Yes. So all these things are very important. Earth is very important. Clouds are very important. Plants are very important. Right? Even sunlight is very important for our survival. Okay? So it is our duty not to play with nature. Because God has created the nature. It has kept all the balances. Right? But we should not disturb that. But we have been doing it. People have been cutting trees, they have they've been felling trees, right? So when a lot of deforestation was happening, it was disturbing the environment, right? The temperature goes very high. And recently you must have heard that there was a huge flood in UAE, in Dubai, right? Yes. Yes. So, you know, there were a lot of floods. Water entered in everybody's house. And yes, you saw the news. Yeah, everybody. You're very good. And then, you know, the, the cars, they were floating in the water. Cars. Yes. The cars were floating in the water like boats. Okay. Yes. So, these things, these things happen when we play with the nature because the government of UAE had done cloud seeding so they were making artificial rains you know so it all resulted in God's fury and God got angry and then there was this flood you know so a lot of lives and property they are in danger so we should not do that ever and as your headmistress says that we should take care of each other, right? We should have sympathy, compassion for our fellow brothers and sisters, right? So if that is there, only then we shall be having compassion for trees, for grass, for all other things, for, for animals, right? And plant too many trees, okay? And so that you can get flower, you, you can get shade, you can get fruits, Right? And you can get water also. Yes. So you should understand the importance of these things. And do not try to try to not use plastics. Because it can it is non degradable, you know. So that is anything which cannot go. That is something very bad, you know, it will accumulate you know, tons and tons of plastics and that will... Oh, you know everything. Very intelligent kids I have here. It's very good to know that you know everything. Okay, thank you so very much. I hope you understand. So, when you go back home, tell your parents that you know very much about the environment and you will try your level best to protect the environment, okay?
All right? Thank you very much. Do take care of these small plants and they will turn into big trees and they will provide you all the things which are necessary for life. Okay? Thank you so very much. Thank Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Take you. care. Thank you. Thank you so much.